Hi, and welcome back to day 12 of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. Today, we are going to be talking about identity and just praying that our children would have an identity rooted in Christ. I think of Galatians 2.20 that says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I tell you, today more than ever, our children, whether they're little kids or whether they're grown adults, struggle more than any time in history probably with identity. And um, I just feel like it's really important that we pray that their security would be in their identity in Christ, that their worth and self-esteem and value would not come from their body image, would not come from who they're friends with or who likes them and who doesn't, but in who they are in Christ, because that is so key to living a successful and abundant life in this world. And it's so hard. I know my own children have had struggles with um, bullying and, and self-image issues and things like that. And they're young. They're, they're young. Um, my oldest is not, not even 13. So I know that there's a long road ahead and we need to pray for wisdom as caregivers and shepherds to know how we can protect them in practical ways, but more than anything, we need to pray that their identity would be in Christ. And that is first, that they would be saved and become a child of God. And second, that they would have a proper view of who they are and their daughters and sons of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And they are um, worthy and valued. And that is going to take them so far. So today, let's stop and just pray that our children would would just cultivate and that we would have the wisdom to know how to cultivate an identity in Christ. Dear God, we just thank you that no matter what our circumstances here on earth, no matter what the circumstances our children or grandchildren face or have faced or are facing, you love them. They are loved. And there is an identity in being your child and being um, bought by the blood of Jesus that gives us value, that gives us meaning in our life, that gives us direction. And we just thank you so much for that, God, that you've given us that gift, that whatever else is swirling around us, whatever the world throws at us, God, that we have that to stand on that can never be taken away, no matter what. God, we just pray right now for our children. We pray for those that don't know you yet, that you would draw them with an everlasting love, that you would allow them to gravitate toward you, God, and and that you would pull them with a gravity they can't escape so that they would know Jesus and they would just enter in to that adoptive sonship that you've offered us through the death and resurrection of Jesus. God, we just pray that, that their identity would come from Jesus. If they are saved, God, we just pray that you would protect them from the world's influences, from Satan's influences on them that would try to steal, rob, and destroy their self-image, their self-esteem, their value. We pray against misplaced identity. God, we just pray for healing from pain and heartache and abuse, neglect, addiction, anything that could have robbed them of the joyful life that that you would want for them. And we pray that you would restore. God, you are a God of restoration. I just, your grace falls on cut grass like rain. I just, in the Bible where it talks about your grace falling like rain on the freshly cut grass. I just have this picture of wounding and pain and dryness. I picture this freshly cut grass in the beating down sun with singed tips because it's been exposed, it's been burned, it's been damaged. But your grace falling like rain, God, that that they would soak it in 
that they would be renewed and that they would grow and that those burnt tips would disappear and give way to lush green grass. God, I pray for healing. God, we just pray that you would intervene in the lives of any of our children that are struggling with their identity. We pray that no matter what external influences are there, God, that they would be rooted in you. Just like a tree that is planted by water, no matter what the season, it flourishes and bears fruit. God, we pray for fruitful lives for our children, that they would be rooted in Christ and that they would just bear eternal fruit that will last. In Jesus' powerful name, amen.